Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David. It is Board Game Week, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Dinosaur Tea Party. Board Game Week, once again, it is Board Game Week. Why? Why is it Board Game Week? Well, why not? <laughs> I love games. I love board games uh, because I love playing cards, right? You know, this channel started off as a playing card review channel. And of course, if you're into playing cards, you're probably, probably into card games. And I am. I'm into card games. I love collectible card games. I play Magic the Gathering. I play Pokemon. I play the Star Wars uh, collectible card game. Uh, yeah, I love them. I love them. And so I kind of gradually got into board games and collecting board games. I have a video where I show you all of my board games that I have on my shelf. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. And if I haven't reviewed or done a how to play video for one of those games, let me know down below if you're excited about one of those and I'll see if I can't bust it out for you. Today, Dinosaur Tea Party, I know it looks like a kid's game, right? You're like looking at this going, eh, this it looks like a little kid's game. Well, the cool thing about it is kids can play this game, right? It's, it it kind of is a kid's game, but it's so much fun. Uh, this is a guess who style game. So every player is going to be one of these very colorful dinosaurs. And when you go through the graphics, uh, they're really fun and uh, they all have unique characters. Uh, and it's 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 cool to draw your character and, and kind of see who you're going to be. As the turns go around the table, Everyone uh, tries to guess which different attributes of the dinosaurs you have or don't have until they feel like they can make a guess and say, I think you're this dinosaur or I think you're that dinosaur. Hey, enough jibber jabber. Let's bust this box open and let's talk about how to play. All right, Dinosaur Tea Party, a game of civilized deduction from Restoration Games. Like I said, this is a guess who style game. So very similar to Guess Who, a lot of the same types of rules. And as you can see there, ages seven and over, three to five players, a 20 to 30 minute game. It all depends on how fast uh, somebody is able to deduce which dinosaur you are. Let's bust this box open and look inside. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of pieces in this game. We have put everything into tiny little bags. So we've separated everything into little bags. You don't have to do that, but we just find it to be easier uh, when we go back to play it again. Now, obviously, you're going to get a Dinosaur Tea Party rule book, and you'll want to keep this handy. I'm not going to cover everything, but I will get you started. And uh, yeah, I'll get, I'll get you started. I'll take care of you. I'll hook you up. All right, so first thing you're going to notice is there are three sets of cards. There are these large dinosaur cards, which end up becoming the game board, really. Uh, they're tiles that'll be on the game board in front of everybody. There's the individual cards, and this is how you will select which dinosaur you are. And of course, it matches one of the larger cards. And then everyone's gonna get one of these reference cards. And this reminds you what all the symbols are. And you know, over time, you'll, you'll catch on. You won't even need these anymore. Like for instance, this first symbol there with all the dots, as you can see, says that this dinosaur has spotted skin. And this second indicator says that this dinosaur is wearing a hat. And of course, he is wearing a hat. The third indicator says that he is wearing glasses. And he is wearing glasses. And the last one says that he's against a green background. Notice the background is green. And then you have your background references there as well. So this is something to keep handy, just to remind you uh, what all the character traits are. So the very first thing we do is we lay out all the large cards as the game board. And this is how big, how much of a surface area it takes up. Because right now, anybody at your game could be one of these dinosaurs. So as a reference, we wanna see them all, okay? And uh, this is how my family sets it up. It doesn't have to be how you do, but we set it up so no two same background colors are side to side. So it kind of breaks up, you know, what you're looking at. And then we also make sure that some are going one direction and some are going the other direction, just so the people on the other side of the table 
all get a fair shot of seeing some face up and face down. So just a little bit of skipping ahead because I want to keep this on the, the game board and, and show you what the properties are of the game board. Let's say uh, someone was Tabitha at your game. All right. Someone was Tabitha. And let's say the person over there guessed and said, are you Tabitha? And, and they say yes. Now, obviously, the person who is Tabitha is going to now select a new dinosaur to be. But to make sure that we don't guess Tabitha again, you can take her card and turn it over. And so it still keeps the game board consistent, but then one by one you start flipping dinosaurs over as you know uh, which ones go out of the game. The other way to play would be just simply to remove Tabitha and start shrinking the game board in, right? So as each dinosaur gets guessed, you just remove their card completely and make the game board smaller and smaller. You could play one of either way. Next, of course, you're going to give one of the reference cards to each player so they remember what all the different symbols are. And you're going to take the smaller cards, turn them face down, give them a shuffle, and then fan each uh, spec. Then you'll take the smaller cards, turn them face down, give them a shuffle, and then fan the set towards each person and have them select their mysterious dinosaur. So going back to our previous example, let's just say that I was dealt Tabitha. I want to keep that a secret, and I don't want anyone else at the table to know that I am Tabitha. I could just simply turn this face down and leave it on the table, and then I would find her reference card, and I could always go back to her reference card, and that could remind me. It's also possible that your character could be way across the table. So as long as you have this close by in your hand, and you're keeping it concealed, so that nobody else can see it, uh, you're good to go. Next, you're going to give every player a set of dinosaur trait chips, and they're going to be kind of off to the side as you play. So, for instance, when we play, uh, our corners, each player's corner kind of looks like this. We have all the character traits, and then we have our character card ready to go. So, in gameplay, you're going to decide who goes first, and that person is going to direct a question at one of the players. And like Guess Who format, they're just simply going to ask, does your character have a, or is your character wearing a question? So let's just say uh, I'm asked, uh, David, does your character have a hat? Does your character have a hat? Now, I don't remember. So I'm going to go back and look. Yes, Tabitha has a hat. And so I will take the hat card place it out in front of me, and say, yes, my character has a hat. Now, because that person guessed correctly, they now get a second question. They could ask it of me, or they could ask it of a new player. If I said no, so let's say they say, uh, is, does your character have sharp teeth? I could turn it around and look. I say, yes, my character does have sharp teeth. So that is now a second question they got correct. They could say, does your character have a pet? That's that little bird over there. So I'll look. Nope. My character does not have a pet. So I will take the pet chip, turn it over, and place it out here. So these become all the clues, the answered questions, for everyone else. Everyone now remembers what those questions were, and they know whether they were right or wrong. And then they will use these larger character cards to deduce who you are. Once they receive a no, your turn is over and you'll go to the next character. Of course, um, should they get a yes, right? And they say, you know, is your character wearing, uh, does your character have a green background? I would look and say, yes, my character has a green background. And I put that out. And at that time, because they have a second guess, they have a second turn, they could in fact say, is your character Tabitha? I would look, say yes, my character is Tabitha, and I would reveal it to everybody, and then that person who guessed that would get a point. Which brings us to sugar cubes. Of course, since it's a tea party, you got to have sugar cubes. So every time you guess a correct dinosaur, you get a point, and that is indicated by a sugar cube. First person to reach three sugar cubes wins. Okay? And that's really how you play the game. So technically, since someone guessed Tabitha on me, we would take this character card out of play, and we would take this character card out of play. We would shuffle up the 
smaller deck of character cards. I would select a new character card, I would place all these back, and I would start over with a brand new character. And that means, you know, nobody would know who my character was until they started asking me questions again. And uh, you just keep going around, asking questions. First person to reach three sugar cubes wins the game. And that's Dinosaur Tea Party. All right, that's Dinosaur Tea Party. Like I said, Restoration Games. You can actually purchase this at restorationgames.com for about uh, 20 bucks. Um, I've seen it at Target. I've seen it at Walmart. So you can find it at some of those big major retail shops as well. If you've ever played this before, let us know down below. Let us know down below if you've played it and if you like it or not, right? We want to hear your opinion, absolutely. And looking forward to doing some more games this week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.